Have you ever wondered how blockchain technology started? Many would consider that blockchain started from the release of Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin paper. However, Bitcoin is built on earlier works, which is often overlooked. Hence, in this video, we're going to talk about the history of blockchain from how it all started to what it's become today. If you're new here, this video was created by Alex and voiced by me, Joelle, and on Eat the Blocks, we'll help you to transition into Web3. The history of blockchain dates back to the early 1990s when Stuart Haber and Scott Stornetta started working on a method to timestamp a digital document, which could be used for authentication. Their original paper, How to Timestamp a Digital Document, was published in 1991. It showed how the various elements of a timestamp verification system would work. In many ways, this work introduced the idea of a chain of hashes to interlink documents with essentially everyone as witness. In 1992, they upgraded their system to incorporate Merkle trees that enhanced efficiency, thereby enabling the collection of more documents on a single block. Their works later on became a key part of the Bitcoin white paper, as well as the software that powers Bitcoin blockchain. On October 31, 2008, the Bitcoin white paper was published under an anonymous name, Satoshi Nakamoto. It wasn't until January 2009 that Satoshi launched the Bitcoin network and mined the first block, which is also called the Genesis block. Satoshi publicly announced the Bitcoin project through the P2P Foundation Forum with an introductory post which emphasized the importance of having a decentralized and trustless monetary system. The receiver of the first Bitcoin transaction was Hal Finney, who developed the reusable proofs of work with a paper that was published in 2004. In 2010, Satoshi handed the network alert key and control of the code repository over to Gavin Andreessen before disappearing. The Bitcoin Foundation was later created in September 2012 to promote Bitcoin's development and uptake. In February 2021, Bitcoin first hit the $1 trillion market capitalization milestone and was traded at around $53,000 per Bitcoin. Although Bitcoin is considered as one of the most revolutionary technologies out there, some developers believe that Bitcoin was not quite there yet. In 2014, a young programmer by the name of Vitalik Buterin published the Ethereum white paper that described a way to build decentralized applications. His idea got the attention of a few scholars by the name of Gavin Wood, Charles Hoskinson, and Anthony DeLorio, who later on became a part of the long list of founders alongside Vitalik. Formal development of the software underlying Ethereum began early 2014 through a Swiss company called Ethereum Switzerland. Subsequently, a Swiss nonprofit foundation called the Ethereum Foundation was created. Development was funded by an online public crowd sale from July to August 2014, in which participants bought the Ethereum value token with another digital currency, Bitcoin. In July 2015, the Ethereum platform was officially launched and created its Genesis block. Subsequently, a decentralized autonomous organization called the DAO, which is essentially a set of smart contracts, was developed in 2016 on the platform. The project managed to raise a record of 150 million US dollars in a crowd sale to fund the project. Unfortunately, the DAO was exploited in June 2016 when 50 million US dollars of DAO tokens were stolen by an anonymous hacker, which eventually caused a split within the Ethereum community. It broke off into two blockchains which are now the Ethereum we know today and Ethereum Classic. Nonetheless, the DAO event did not stop Ethereum from becoming a blockchain network which is worth hundreds of billions in US dollars today. In November 2017, a collectible game known as CryptoKitties was launched. It was considered the first decentralized application on Ethereum to gain real user traction. The amount of users in high-volume transactions clogged the Ethereum blockchain which ended up having users to wait for days before seeing their transactions being confirmed. The highest amount of fee collected by the Ethereum miners during that time was $4.5 million in a single day. The popularity of crowdfunding early stages of a project through blockchain network reached a record number in 2018. A total of $7.8 billion was raised for over 1,000 projects that year, over 80% of them relying on Ethereum blockchain to create their tokens and issue them to investors. As a result, despite the technical limitations of the platform, DAP developer activity on Ethereum continues to thrive. 
A new trend called decentralized finance, or DeFi, began to dominate user traffic and transaction volume on many different blockchain. As of today, a total of $100 billion in value were being locked in many of these DeFi protocols. Currently, a major upgrade to Ethereum known as Ethereum 2.0 is under development and is expected to release Phase 1 in the third quarter of 2022 and Phase 2 in 2023. Blockchain history and evolution doesn't just stop with Ethereum and Bitcoin. New projects have also sought to address some of the deficiencies of Bitcoin and Ethereum in addition to coming up with new features by leveraging blockchain capabilities. Some of the notable blockchain projects that could potentially be extremely successful are Polkadot, Cardano, Solana, Avalanche, and many more. Blockchain technology has made a significant impact in recent years through its fast-paced development and widespread adoption. Although currently the market seems to be in a downturn trajectory, many still believe that the blockchain industry will continue to thrive in the coming years. So what do you think about the future of blockchain technology? If you're interested in starting to develop blockchain applications, we have tons of tutorials that can help you get started. And with that said, we've come to the end of this video. Bye!